Hey you guys, this is Raphael from ShilohRelics.com. It is great to be with you guys today. Uh, I was trying to decide what I was going to do this next video on, and I looked through the ones that I've already done. 200 and something videos, and I hadn't done one on one of my favorite buckles of all time. The uh, One of the buckles that you see that have the magic letters uh, CS for Confederate States on the buckle uh, was made in Richmond. It's, it's referred to as a two-piece interlocking sword belt buckle, uh, and they refer to it as the Richmond style because most of them had, were made in that Richmond area. And there were several people that probably made them in that area, but that's where this one shows up the most and it's where they, they were made. Um, they're very distinctive. Look at the letter pattern on this. It's, I mean, it's a big, bold uh, CS on there for Confederate States. It's made in two pieces, two cast pieces of brass, uh, the tongue portion and the wreath portion. And uh, as you can imagine, where the wreath uh, and the tongue portion meet the loops on the side, that's the thinnest area. So they break a lot. So it's nice to find, find them when they do match like this. And this one not only matches, it's on the original belt. And one way you can tell that this buckle is on the original belt, look at how the stitching goes on the side that holds that wreath portion in place. It is actually stitched into place so it wouldn't move. And that's referred to as a bullet stitch. Those Richmond buckles like this one, which is uh, uh, the nickname that they get they were given and it was kind of written in stone when my buddy Steve Mullinax, he passed away several years ago. Steve was a great guy. This is he and I together at the sh one of the show last shows he went to. Uh, good guy. Uh, he wrote this book, Confederate Belt Buckles and Plates. This one's seen a lot of service with me over the years. Uh, several hundred thousand dollars worth of buckles uh, have been bought and sold through that uh, book for me. But one of the one of the things, little side note, hell, I I, I like taking a tangent. I was at a show. I'd been in the business probably six seven years, and I'd studied everything that I could. And we, I think we were in Richmond, and I saw Steve, and I always made a point to say hi to him because he was a rock star in this business, and I was so excited to get to to hang around him and talk to him when I could. And and we were talk, we were sitting there and we were talking, chit chatting about just nothing. And he hands me a buckle. He says well, what do you think? And I'm like, what the hell just happened? I said, that's, that's like, <laughs> that, that's like being next to Eddie Van Halen. And he says, Hey, why don't you play something on this guitar for me? Tell me what you think. Uh, and I'm like, ah. so I looked at it and I, and, I, and I remember I got back to the hotel and at the, when the show was over, I would always call my wife, Lori, I hope you're resting easy, baby. And, uh, I told her, I said, you ain't going to believe what happened. I said, it was the coolest thing ever. I said, Steve Monax won my opinion on a buckle. And she's like, well, he's just a guy. And I said, yeah, but that ain't it. This business, there's some of them you just look up to and you respect what they say. And he asked my opinion. So, sorry, took a tangent. You're just going to have to fast forward if you don't like it. Uh, <laughs> but this is one of them, similar to the ones that he pictured in the book in 004 in the revised edition, which that is. Uh, it's the Virginia style, the Richmond style. Uh, it's on that original belt. The wreath is sewn into place. They have on the other side, the tongue uh, has an adjustable length on it. And that way, uh, no matter how big the soldier is, you can adjust it to fit that one soldier. This one, original belt, it's kind of brittle. Uh, which just happens depending on where the piece has been over the last 150 years. Most of the time, the belt's gone completely. This one still has the belt. It, it's uh, stiffened up and they've repaired it some on the inside, but you've got a perfect buckle. You've got an original belt. It is the original belt because of that Richmond style bullet stitching like this. It's a cool piece and it's just got that look like I wish it could talk. Where has this buckle been? What did it see during the war? Uh, because you can imagine it being made in Richmond probably went into service directly with uh, Lee's Army of Northern Virginia. <laughs> Those guys saw hell. They were some more something to be able to make that war last four years when it shouldn't have lasted 
uh, they had the North had 91% of the industry. South had 9%. That's that's a David and Goliath if there's ever been one. And making that war last four years is is amazing. The uh, the stick to itness and the determination that those people had to fight that war that long. But it's this one. <laughs> oh, I almost took a whole another tangent on you. But this one is on the website as of now. You can own it. It's a great piece of, uh, not just Confederate, but Civil War history. <laughs> Hell, that thing got more history in it than Canada. Sorry, Canada. I love you guys. I enjoy you going up there, but ain't nothing like the history from here. I am so thankful to get to be with you guys. I hope that you are all doing well. Uh, remember that uh, I, I was on Facebook this morning and I saw more people ever than ever posting about lost loved ones. Uh, man, it's it's hit me hard because my daughter graduated from high school, my youngest daughter, I'm so proud of her. Uh, she was 12 when my wife passed and she has, uh, that would have broken most people, but she came to the front and graduated high school and uh, I'm so proud of her, but I say that because so many people are struggling with the loss of a person, if it's a parent, a friend, a, a, God forbid, a son or daughter. Uh, but remember, I had somebody tell me something one time, as long as they are still in our memory, they are never gone. And uh, so keep that in your heart. If you are uh, mourning the loss of somebody, remember, as long as you remember them, they're still here because uh, the last year, two years, I've lost my mom, my dad. Uh, it's been a, it's been a lot of loss, and you can focus on the negative or you can focus on the positive, and just be glad if you're missing them. It meant that they were a blessing in your life. So appreciate that you did have somebody uh, that you thought that much of that you still mourn them because you can mourn them, but don't uh, don't forget to appreciate what's here now. I love you guys. I hope you guys are well. I'll see you down the road. Go to Shiloh Relics. Check this out. Buy a lot of stuff because uh, if you buy something, I get to go buy something. Thanks, man. See y'all later.